Hello and good evening to all of you. I will be discussing the current affairs but not uh, this time the national and international current affairs. The current affairs uh, those are UP specific as the UP PSC and RO exam are in the pipeline. So let me start uh, uh, with the one development uh, and uh, this is related to the solar expressway first solar expressway in up first solar expressway where it will be established it will be established along the bundelkhand expressway bundelkhand why Bundelkhand? Why not Sonbhad or any other place in UP? Yes, because Bundelkhand is already a drought prone area. A huge amount of sunlight can be experienced here all the time. All the time means comparatively more in comparison to the rest of the places in UP and for solar energy we know that we require the sunlight so as Bundelkhand is naturally conducive for this kind of development that's why UP government has decided to build the first state's first solar expressway along the Bundelkhand expressway if I talk about the Bundelkhand expressway then uh, any idea what is the length of this Bundelkhand Expressway? 296 kilometers. And there are seven districts, those come under this Bundelkhand Expressway. Some of them are Yalon. Jalon, yeah, so uh, Mahoba, okay, Auraya, Hamirpur, Itawa, Jalon, Chitrakoot, and Banda. You can remember them, Mahi JCB. You can change it according to, but uh, if you are taking the alphabets then it will be easy for you to remember these seven districts from where the Bundelkhand Express Highway will pass through. So this was as far as the Solar Expressway. As we know, we have some international obligations to not use the fossil fuels beyond a certain extent. That's why it is the compulsion of the government of India as well as the rest of states in India to use the renewable sources of energy and solar energy is one of them. Now let's discuss tribal museums have been decided to be opened in UP. Tribal museums in how many places? The one is Sonbhadra, Sonbhadra, Maharaj Ganj, Maharaj Ganj and Mirjapur. In these three places, the tribal museums will be established. Around 15 tribal communities live inside UP. Any idea which is that district in UP which has the maximum number of ST community? Sonbhadra. Sonbhadra. And the minimum number of ST community resides where? That is Bhagpat. Overall the maximum 
पॉपुलेशन रिसाइड इन विच डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ यूपी नो नो ओवरऑल नॉट एस सी एस टी टोटल पॉपुलेशन इन यूपी द मैक्सिम इट इज इन अलाहाबाद इट इज इन अलाहाबाद अराउंड सिक्सटी लैक सिक्सटी लैक और सिक्स करोड़ लाख और करोड़ एंड द मिनिमम पॉपुलेशन इन महोबा so in these three places the tribal museum will be established there is a, a community and with that community that is also a tribal community and it is one of the most extremely backward a community with this community our chief minister mr yogi adityanath celebrates diwali every year could you tell me the name of that community and why this community has come in the limelight one tangia one tangia this one tangia actually for this community the a training center will be established but the question is in which place or in which district of up the training center for the one tangia community will be established every year yogi adityanath ji celebrates diwali with this with the people of this in fact uh, yogi ji started his political career gorakhpur in gorakhpur but to bring this community in the mainstream of the development he was even now the main face to bring this community in the development so this one tangia training center in this training center the people who belong to this particular community they will be taught okay not the computers or these kinds of things but uh, uh, how to stitch nursing the girls will be taught the nursing courses courses related to this beauty parlor beautification so this kinds of things will be taught so that their economic development could be done and they could be immersed so the the training center will be established where in gonda gonda by the way uh, this one tangia community also resides inside gorakhpur but the training center for bringing the one tangia community in the main stream of the development will be established inside gonda now let's discuss about 25th of november has been decided to be celebrated as a what janjati divas non non i mean not eating non waste day no non waste day no non waste day 25th of november no non waste day but this day has been dedicated to whom this day has been dedicated or in the memory of a person whose name is sadhu okay not sadhu yadav sadhu waswani was wani you will be surprised to know that this sadhu waswani doesn't have any kind of connection with up he was born in south india i think in andhra pradesh but uh, our state uh, got motivated a lot or to the extent that 
UP has decided to celebrate the birth anniversary of Sadhu Vasumani 25th of November as a no non waste day. This Sadhu Vasumani is also known for the Mira movement. Mira. What is this Mira movement? Mira movement is related to the empowerment of the woman in a very short language. By the way, this Mira movement <laughs> does not have uh, the significance with respect to the UP special current affairs, but this person is related. That's why I am discussing. The important thing is here 25th of November has been declared to be celebrated as a no non waste day inside UP. World's first, world's first water university will be established where? If I didn't tell you the UP is special, then I don't think anybody would guess that it will be established in UP. So it is in UP, but within which district of UP, world's first water university? You may have heard the medical university, okay, or any other university, but I don't think anybody has ever heard the water university. Einstein once told that if the third world war happens, it will happen for the water only. And you can understand nowadays the cost of water per liter is more than the cost of milk per liter in India. No, uh, any milkman has guts to sell milk more than 100 rupees per liter but our Baba Ram Devji has the capability to sell the Gau Mutra in more than 100 rupees kg. So this is the marketing and branding. We should learn from Baba Ji. So water university, water university will be this is a very innovative idea, let me tell you, because this will be, this is going to be the first thing like this anywhere in the world. And the first, world's first water university will be established in Hamirpur. Hamirpur. Anybody can take admission from anywhere. And the main objective of this university or this course will be to teach how to conserve the water. Rest of the things will also be related but the main motto of this university will be to teach to the students regarding the conservation of the water. Now let's discuss a UP's first telecom excellence center first telecom excellence center where it will be established greater noida no not in greater noida it will be established in saharanpur iit roodki campus telecom excellence center and the objective of this telecom excellence center will be Basically, the research work will be done related to 5G and 6G with artificial intelligence. How to improve the services of 5G, 6G and how we can add the artificial intelligence with 5G and 6G. So this will be the main objective of the UP's Telecom Excellence Center, which will be established inside Saharanpur, or you can say 
the IIT Roorkee campus which comes in Saharanpur. By the way, Roorkee is the part of Uttarakhand. Now, let's discuss a cricket stadium. And this cricket stadium will be designed having Lord Shiva on the backdrop. Because the lights of the light tower, those are, you know, highly powerful. They are so powerful that you can search your needle which you have lost in the grass with the help of these light towers you know the day night match when happens everybody has seen these powerful towers but the important thing is this that in this stadium which will be be established in this stadium the shape of the light tower will be like the shape of trishul will be like the shape of trishul and the roof roof of the stadium will be like the shape of a crescent moon lord shiva bears the moon on his head a any idea why lord shiva always has the moon on his head prajapati ne shrap diya tha chandrama ko chhay hone ka shiv ke sir par aata tha to unka mrityu nahi hui chhay nahi hui actually there are different different stories uh, one story which i know that uh, on a certain day shiva ate the poison and that was very you know hot some coolness was required that's why the moon was placed in order to cancel out the effect of that poison uh, look i exactly don't know what is right and what is wrong but <laughs> it was given anyway that is not our subject matter so uh, this stadium where the light towers will be in the shape of trishul the roof will be in the shape of crescent and some things will be in the shape of damuru the question is where this stadium will be established in, in yes in varanasi okay in varanasi if you were not discussing the up specific then people would certainly go for ujjain because ujjain is the city of mahakal located on the river sepra in the same way uh, one park will be developed and the theme of the park you can say it will be a vedic park vedic park because in this park uh, the uh, pictures of uh, pictures from the four vedas will be depicted that park where this park will be established where this park will be established ayodhya hmm Ayodhya. No, this will be in Greater Noida. This will be in Greater Noida. Sri Anna Mahotso, Sri Anna Mahotso, Sri Anna Mahotso where it has been celebrated. Sri Anna Mahotso inside UP. in the city of nawabs <laughs> hmm yes in lucknow because united nation has already celebrated the year 2023 as an international year of millets and 2024 united nation has decided as a year of camels yes camels so realizing the significance of 
the millets up government has decided to celebrate sri ann mahotsav because millet is the thing which can be used as a fuel fuel food and fodder and uh, the cultivation of the millet also requires very less amount of water in comparison to the any other crop and these are no doubt very nutritious as well that's why the up government has decided to celebrate sri anna mahotsav inside the state capital that is lucknow the last thing of my today's lecture is related to, to the hot cooked meal scheme hot cooked meal scheme what is this hot cooked meal scheme this hot cooked meal scheme is basically for the children who are across the state in anganwadi but the age is also specific here because only the students or the children who are coming between the age of 3 to 6 will be benefited through this hot cooked meal scheme so you know i don't think i need to explain what is this hot cooked meal basically they will be provided the food who 3 to 6 years in all the anganwadis in up and the beneficiary the number of beneficiary is more than 80 lakh 80 lakh now okay let me tell you one more thing i uh, by the way i have already discussed it and that is related to the which i elaborated in my uh, last lecture the g20 in how many places in up the g20 i mean the meetings of g20 has been arranged so there are uh, four places okay and you can simply remember them Abha. by yes algao al gv algao a stands for agra l stands for lucknow g stands for gaziya and no not gaziabad it is greater noida <laughs> there is a huge difference between gaziabad and gate although they are close to each other or connected to each other but <laughs> in option you cannot and the fourth one is varanasi in the same way uh, the idea of unity mall unity mall what is this unity mall nobody knows because <laughs> the finance minister who coined the term unity mall in her previous year budget session she herself hasn't specifically de defined what actually the unity mall is but by using our common senses we can get to know that these are like the normal malls like the pacific mall in anand vihar and in gurgaon there is a very famous mall ambiance and in every every city has the mall so but these unity malls they will be the objective of these unity malls will be somewhat different from the objective of the malls those are generally located because within these malls the products look one more thing you need to know every state in india every state in india will be having at least one unity mall and that will be in the state's capital so minimum one will be in every state up will be having three and the idea of these unity malls will be to promote the products those have been identified as the gi tag geographical indicators product odop one district one product handicap products 
and these kinds of things these products will be specifically placed and will be given the special emphasis inside the malls but it does not mean only these things will be sold other things will also be there but the main objective of these malls will be to promote the gi odop and handicraft products so that we could generate a global demand and we could generate the global footprint of these products and by doing this the state's economic and socio development could reach to a different level so the question is in up which are those places where the unity malls have been proposed and the same algao but this time you don't need to believe in g so agra lucknow and varanasi as up's population is around uh, 24 or 25 crore so three malls are not so a very unimaginable number as per the population this is very less okay by the way the number of uh, up psc seats are also very less what is the population of jharkhand but certainly it is not even half of up even then jharkhand psc has given uh, more than 340 seats so you can very easily imagine what kind of cutthroat competition the experience of uppsc had to go non stop 